In this video, you will see Meredith Keery sharing with a group of math students, grade five and six, the get ready, do done approach to completing activities. This approach comes from Cognitive Connections, www.efpractice.com. PopFast recommends that you explore the Cognitive Connections website. They have many useful resources and also wonderful online and, when possible, face-to-face -face workshops that help you to understand executive function and how you can support the development of executive function skills with your students. The Get Ready, Do Done method really helps students to see what is going to happen in the future and to plan what is going to happen in the future so that there aren't any things they have to guess. And then they see it and execute it. We call it planning backwards to execute forwards. You begin with the done, then you look at the do, then you look at the get ready, and then you execute forwards. So if you were wrapping a Christmas present or a present of some sort, you might begin with the done, sharing what the finished present's going to look like. You would then share what the do steps are in order for that present to get wrapped, and then you would share the things you need to get ready to wrap the present. So wrapping paper, scissors, tape, ribbon, and of course the present. Once you have shared the done, shared the do, shared the get ready, you've planned backwards, students would then execute forward. So in the video that follows, you will see the get ready, do done method being used with math students. Okay, so that's our done. In order to get to the done, you are going to put your, I'm going to get that, change that to black. You're going to put your name on the paper so that we know that that's your work. You're going to add up the four sides of each rectangle. How many rectangles are there? Thank you. Three rectangles. And then you're going to put your answer. What's the really important thing to put after your answer? Yes. The Don't forget the centimeters so we know what unit you use to measure them. Okay, in order to do this, thank you. In order to do this, Caden, what do I need to have? Yep, I need my paper. Thank you. Somebody else shout out what else you need. Yes. Pencil. Pencil. Somebody else said eraser. What part of our brain do we need? What part of the brain? The prefrontal cortex. You know what else you're using? You're using the um, cerebellum because you're using motor. So you're using this part of your brain as well. So you need your prefrontal cortex and your cerebellum to do that. Any questions before I go? Oh, I had just remember time. I think this will take 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We go to the center of our clock. We count five. 10 minutes. You're going to keep an eye on the clock. Make sure you don't have time robbers happening. And if you can't remember what to do, this is a chance for you to be independent. You can come up here and look. And if you still can't figure it out, then we've got adults to help you. You might have a buddy to help you. Okay?